Bangkok Airport is all this busy. Hi, my name is Earl. And you're Thai? Yeah. That's the great thing about traveling, you're always meeting random people. Morning people, it's just after 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm here in uh, the airport here in Phuket. I'm heading to Bangkok today. Let's go see where we're gonna check into. Hey, nice and cool in here. We are looking for Vietjet. That's the airline I'm going on, Vietjet. It's probably, I think Vietjet is like the, um, the budget airline, what, what is it, um, like Jetstar, things like that. So let's go. Got our ticket, just checked in, it was easy, ran smoothly, that's what I like. Nothing worse than go to an airport and you're standing in a long queue and they, you know, ask you a lot of questions. This guy's, you know, are pretty efficient so far in Thailand. And I think, I, I think the reason they're quite good at this is because they get so many tourists every year. Like it just doesn't stop, you know. So they used to dealing with a lot of foreign foreigners, a lot of travellers. So airports all is busy. Plus, you know, a lot of their people as well travel. So that's good. But I remember just going to Sydney from New Zealand one time. Man, it took ages and I'm only going across the ditch. So guys, get your game up. But I'm not saying that uh, they were bad, but sometimes customer service just like gives you the runaround you know what I mean it's nice and quiet here and here's a fun fact Phuket is probably one of the busiest airports inside Thailand because this is what this is one of the main destination for a lot of tourists a lot of travelers that come down to Thailand, they usually end up here in Phuket, Patong Beach, and to the islands, there's PP Island, there's a James Bond Island, there's a lot of islands around close by, so this airport gets really busy. And also, Phuket, you know, Patong Beach especially, is one of the most expensive uh, part of Thailand. So, but I mean, it's not to outstanding it's still expensive for the ties it's expensive even for us but like when you go somewhere else in Thailand it's a lot cheaper than here but okay I see I see where we at the coral cafe Burger King it's, see the king still burgering Eighty-nine baht for this. So, eighty-nine baht is like um, three dollars seventy Australian, or three dollars seventy-five Australian, and about four dollars New Zealand. So, it shows you it's pretty expensive in for Thailand standards. But that's what you get. Airports around the world is done the same. You get that sandwich at the airport; it's going to cost you almost twice the price as you would if you bought it from outside the airport so Thailand is no it's no different okay let's go get a seat and let's wait for our flight yes uh, so far so far being over here this time around is um, it's been good and I'm glad I, I'm able to bring you guys some good videos from over here. 
and it's really hard because the algorithm <laughs> is not favoring me over here but that's YouTube for you but let's go hey brother just chilling at the airport waiting for the flight had to get up really early this morning and um, the cab picked me up at 5 a.m. so it's around about 5.30 a.m. now or maybe quarter to quarter to six flights in another hour but you know it's better early than late right and big shout out to my man Frank and triple threat team as you seen on the videos I've been rocking a lot of the triple threat gears even this T here Frank in the shorts so pick up to uh, Frank and the triple threat team Okay, we're about to board the plane, going to Bangkok, and the airport is packing up. A lot of people traveling today. Yeah, I tell, I tell you, hello, just met this lovely person here in line boarding the plane. What's your name? Hi, my name is Ng. And you're Thai? Yeah. Yeah, your English is so good. Thank you. What you learn English from? Uh, just in general. Hi. I also have my friends speaking English. So. Yeah. You don't have the Thai accent. <laughs> oh, I love the Thai accent. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. Kapun ka. Yeah. Say. The beautiful people that we meet in queue going to the plane. She spoke very good English because believe me, a lot of Thais don't speak English. And the ones that do, they speak it very well. So, yeah, we're just waiting to get out to board the plane right now to go to Bangkok. Yes, we're in line. There you go. Good people. Thank you, brother. Hey. busy flight you hear the music it's the early morning music it's window. Above. window seat okay thank you Ah, oh, yes, yes. Oh, where are you going? Where? Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> what happened? She remember talking to me in, uh, in Baton. So, small place. The world is a small place. Jumping out the bay, vibe blowing up my jet. 
I jump in a bag. Okay, pack. just touch down in uh, Bangkok. Everything I'm on slide. It's like another hot day outside. In Bangkok Airport, let's go collect our bag. Okay, let's go have an adventure today. Now, today, instead of catching a cab or catching the bus like we did when we came, uh, I got the bus on the first video that I did here from Bangkok. This time we might switch it up and catch the sky train just to show you people another form of transportation to Bangkok City from the, from the airport. I tell you, Bangkok Airport is huge. Look at this. Got all the way down to the bottom there. That's like 180 meters or 200 meters just to, and you probably got to walk a bit further just to get your bag. But it's a nice day to cruise and talk to you people watching this. It's our package area here. We also gotta go join also gotta go and uh, change some exchange some money because the best place to exchange money is here in Bangkok Airport. I showed you that on my first video here. So, for me anyway personally rather than going to the city. City. Don't know whether we'll take the train, the sky train, or a taxi, or a bus. But let's go exchange some money first. Let's go upstairs. Show you the rest of the airport. Busy, right? He can easily get lost in this airport. We'll go catch the train, but and also get some money changed. Exchange. New Zealand. Yes. So the New Zealand one is uh, twenty-one ninety-one, which is better here 
upstairs was only 20, 20, 20 or something, 20, 30. But um, the Australian one here is pretty good too. It's Australia, it's 23.30. Not bad, 23.30, not bad for Australian. Okay, we just got some money exchanged. Pretty good, pretty good rate. Upstairs it was like missing like a dollar, dollar twenty. Downstairs you get that extra dollar twenty. So all is best to come to that place down nearby where you catch a sky train. Best uh, exchange rate in Bangkok. And the reason why I know that is because I took the tip from a YouTuber in Plan, a uh, Thai YouTuber that was giving out game, giving out free game on how to move around here and best places to get, you know, for your bucks to exchange your money. Good morning, I'm Mr. Wan, sorry, I'm going to um, MBK, so National Stadium. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. You go to Pia Pai Station last stop and then you change to BTS. So they give you this coin and tap. Okay, there you go. You tap, you use that coin to tap. And we go through to the where is it? The city. They have a really good train system, transport in the city, sky train. But when it gets back, it gets busy though, you can't move. So do do